Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's up 88. You get the Nasdaq up uh, 30. S&P's up nine and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Uh, now, as you, the way you get the opening call, you come over to our website at TFNN, and you're going to see right under featured content, the opening call. Uh, now, as you hit that, you're going to see that our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be doing a workshop for his subscribers. This workshop, folks, is April 3rd, which is next Wednesday. Yes, you heard that right. We're going into April already. Got to love it. Uh, the workshop's going to be at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And what Basil's going to be talking about is uh, where we are currently in the marketplace, how to read the technical tools that will show you where the market is heading, the outlook for uh, 2019 and 2020. Yeah, we're starting talking about 2020. That's pretty amazing. Uh, the current risk and the potential rewards inside of this market, uh, specific sectors and stocks to monitor. Uh, the workshop is going to be um, archived for all subscribers. Now, it's really easy to be a subscriber to Basil's newsletter, folks. As you come here to end the featured content, you're just going to hit the opening call. You hit subscribe, and you'll get one month for $128. Six months for $595, which is $173 savings, or a year for $995, which is a $541 savings. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can go over there. You can check it out, whatever one you like. And then you're also going to get a great workshop uh, on next Wednesday, April 3rd, which is hard to comprehend. Basil Chapman, what's going on, man? When you said 2020, I thought, oh. wow. Seriously, That's man. Tommy said that this morning when he was talking about your workshop. I says, oh, my God, man. I just remember the year 2000, and I'm looking at him, and he was like all of 20 years old then. It was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Time flies. Isn't it, man? I so know. this is going to be very interesting. If you're looking at the chart on the left, this is the daily chart. It seems so far we've been making a lower highs. We've made one lower low. We went from the uh, 26,241 high of uh, February the 25th. Went straight down to the 25,252 level in the Dow, ran up, and this is a big percentage. It did go from 25,200s to the 26,100s very quickly, but then it gave it back. And you can see this, this great trend line. I love to use very simple tools whenever I can. And this is a very simple tool. I just took it from the low that was made back on the on 8th of February of this year. It's at 24,883. There's a rising trend line to the low that was made on the 11th at 25,252. And 25,501 was the low that was hit yesterday. So that's the trend line. It's also the 50-day moving average. However, what I am concerned about in the daily, not yet the weekly, as I say, I've been talking about this for some time, the weekly Dow, S&P, the um, QQQ, that's the index 100, have all the weekly charts are fabulous. The IWM is starting to suffer some from the selling pressure, but the others are pretty good, and that means it's going to be very important. One of the reasons why I wanted to have a webinar straight after the March uh, monthly chart is concluded is that I think it's going to tell us a tremendous amount. So I'm looking at the daily. I'm saying, well, the daily looks to me like we're making arch formations, and if there is a if there is a doesn't have to be a close. In the next two days, if the S&P goes into the candle close of yesterday, and that was 25,516, so in other words, at any point, if it goes 70 or 80 points lower, I think we've set the pace now that we're going to test that trend line, and then we're probably going to break the trend line, and then we're going to have this cup formation. The cup formation, the Chapman Wave methodology always says, Watch out for that left side low. That's going to be key. That'll be 25,252. So I'm going step by step. Why? Look, with all this effort, the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, that's this technical tool right here in the middle between the price and this yeah. moving average here. It's very weak. And the stochastic's now only at 47%. I love when it's over 80%, especially 90%. Here in the 47% area, that, that is really not good. The relative strength is starting to weaken. So for subscribers, we've started to take, uh, take uh, off some of our positions, our long positions. Some of them have raised the stock, and we're building up a cash position. We do have one position where we've got option calls on a particular stock that got really hammered. I think it has a chance to have a pretty good bounce, and that's all we're going to play there. But in the meantime, I am concerned. I think that this is a digestive phase. 
Now, at this particular point, because the SMHs, the semiconductors, and this is this is going to be a very big test of fundamentals as applied to technicals. If you look at the SMHs at 106.10, the price has gone substantially higher. Well, first of all, 114 area was March of last year. That's exactly a year ago. Makes its all-time high. Plummets down to the 80 level, and let's face it, 30 points. That's a 20, 27%, 28% uh, pullback. But then it has this rally, which is very strong, and that was helped by the rotation through micro, Micron, and uh, you had various, uh, what was the other one? It's a uh, Massachusetts company, uh, Zyn, Zyn, was it Zyn, XLNX? Yeah, Xilinx they had a, a fabulous uh, rally. And each one of these helped the SMHs go higher. But I'm hearing from all sources that, and I showed a chart the other day. In fact, I, I, I think I discussed it with you when we were last on. And I said to you, there's this chart that I've been looking at, which shows that the shipping of the semiconductors um, is way down going into the early part of this year. This is not absolutely current, but it is up until the beginning of this year. Look at that chart, the yellow one. And the blue line is the global leading manufacturing index growth. And that's down quite sharply. And here you are, you can invert this, and that's what you've got for the semiconductor um, ETF, the, the SMH. Something doesn't, uh, it just doesn't work out that way because you have to regress to the mean. Either the semiconductors are going to have fantastic orders over the coming six weeks to, to three months, and you just haven't seen it yet, but it's there, and the price is telling us that it's there. But I'm hearing that they, they're shutting down some of the fab, fabrication uh, centers. The, they are laying off people. That doesn't make sense. I think that the semiconductors are somewhat vulnerable, and I'm going to be watching that. To me, that's a bit of a benchmark. So at the workshop on a week from tomorrow, okay. uh, Wednesday at 5 p.m., April the 3rd, I'm going to be talking about the, the divergences, how for my subscribers we are trying to handle this, what we're doing, why we, um, we, we are starting short positions, what I'm looking at, how severe it could be. We'll know a lot more when the candle closes on the monthly charts coming up uh, this week, at the end of this week on Friday. That's the end of the month. And I think it's going to be a really interesting uh, webinar because we've already started to look at positions that we want to take on any big pullback. We, look, we have some positions that we are holding that have done very nicely. And we've lightened up. We're taking off anything that looks somewhat vulnerable. I, I just don't need the risk right now. I just want us to get out, have some cash, because I think there's going to be some really good buying opportunities. So a very timely workshop for us because we are waiting for a pullback. We're waiting for certain sectors. You know, you spoke about the XLF. The XLF, the financials. Yes. Um, I think... Until we can really get, maybe I'm wrong, but I really think for the next phase of, 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 of uh, the bull phase, I think we need the financials. I, it's not interest rate anything. We need the financials because you, I want the backing, the structure of the financial sector to be with us on the upside. So that's not ready yet. So and the time is going to be very important. And folks, the way you get into this workshop, just come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right under featured content. Uh, man, Mr. Basil Chapman, the opening call. You hit that subscribe button. You are off to the races. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Look forward to the program tomorrow. Thank you very much. On YouTube. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right.